What's up? What's going on? How y'all doing? How y'all feeling? Let's get down to the situation, but please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share the video, y'all. So let's get into this whole situation. Let's talk about Growing Up Hip Hop Season 7 and the season finale. We're going to talk about the last episode, which was, you know, before the season finale, which is, I believe, episode 9. Let's get into this whole situation. But Tresh is definitely feeling a certain type of way. And he's not feeling Egypt. And he is not feeling Sam at all. And it also seems like he's not feeling Pep. He didn't show up to the wedding. And Pep is trying to save face and do the very best that she can to support her daughter in this decision. She's hoping that Egypt is going to wake up. She's going to snap out of it. Or she's going to be able to handle her business and take care of her family. But at the end of the day, I don't think Pep is happy with Sam either. But... But right now, it seems like Tretch is the one speaking up and basically calling it out. And, you know, it should have been called out a long time ago. But it seems like he's ap absolutely, you know, lifting his protection up from Sam. Basically saying that Sam ain't nobody to him. Sam ain't, you know, Sam ain't family like that to him at all. We also got to acknowledge that when it comes to Salt and Pepper, they actually got their Hollywood Walk of Fame star. So congratulations to that whole situation. But when it comes to... Tretch, he was sitting down, he was talking to Lazy Bone from Bone Thugs, and they were sitting there, they was having some drinks, you already know Tretch drinks a little bit, and it looks like Lazy drinks a little bit too, then they're talking about having a 50 year anniversary, and they are bringing Corrupt in the building, and we know Corrupt drink too, okay, so, you know, Tiny, just be careful out here in these streets, because there's a lot of alcohol and glasses going around, okay, but in any event, when it comes down to the whole situation, um, Tretch is basically saying that he doesn't care what happens to Sam because Tretch is accusing Sam of out here talking greasy to him, out here talking greasy about him, being disrespectful. And at this point, right now, um, Tretch is basically saying that Sam is disrespecting everybody, disrespecting his wife, he's disrespecting his brother in law, which is, you know, um, Tyran. You know, which is disrespecting Tyran. So you got this whole situation going on. And also, Tretch, he states that that homie better stay out of my face. He better stay away from me. You know what I mean? And then also, Tretch says he ain't even going to be around for the marriage. He ain't even going to be around for the baby because he's going to be in jail. So at this time and point, Tretch is like, yo, this dude ain't going to be in jail. He ain't did what he was supposed to do. He ain't do nothing. He's a failure. He's a letdown. I can't believe I let this happen. And it's just like, yo, he better stay away from me. I'm not, I'm done with homie. And when you call some, when you say I'm done with homie, you're like, I'm done with that dude. That dude ain't related to me. I was like, Lord have mercy. And um, Tretch is also accusing Sam of marrying into the family because he knows that he was always going to be taken care of because he married into royalty. So basically, Sam is using Egypt to make sure she get money from her mama and her daddy and take care of him and his kids. So at this point, Tretch feels like it was all a setup. It was all a lie. Nothing that Sam said to him was actually true at all. <clears throat> And he's coming out here, and Tretch is basically saying that, you know, Sam is a broke-down house. And he's squeezing, and he's kicking out the walls, he's kicking out the doors, he's kicking out the windows. Basically saying that Sam is self-destructing, he's self-destructive, he destroys things, he's impulsive, and he doesn't know how to hold nothing or carry nothing, OMG. And then Tretch says that his daughter is stuck in that house with him, and that's his biggest problem, that's his biggest situation. So I was like, Lord have mercy, it is going down. Tretch is basically dropping it down, he's just telling it how it is. Is like this is just this is the crazy decision that was ever made and i feel like tretch feels like his eyes was closed bad bad you should have been watching the tv show like we was watching it and also tretch did say you know this is just terrible this is and he's disrespecting my wife he disrespected tyran but you know lazy ends up saying that you know i bet you any money on it god is going to take care of the whole situation right I was like, okay. And then Tretch, he turned around and he said, yeah, it's going to be breaking news, sentencing, blah, 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 uh, red alert. So I don't know what Tretch was basically saying, but he definitely did say that, you know, it's going to be breaking news about Sam. And he said sentencing, we know Sam is probably going to get sentenced to, you know, house arrest. But what's red alert? What's breaking news? What's, you know, reporting? You know, it's almost like, you know, 
Tretch is saying, you know, there's going to be tragedies reported on Sam. You know what I mean? It's going to be breaking news. It's going to da 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 red alert, you know, let everybody know. So what's going on? So what do you guys think about this whole situation? And I just got to talk about this particular scene. So Sam had went to court. Eja went to court with him. They was running late. They was in an Uber. Same situation, different time of day, different experience with Sam and Egypt not being on time, not being prepared. And Sam looking, you, you know, bat-ish crazy. So, you know, Egypt is finally trying to express herself, what she wants to do, how she wants to support, you know, her husband Sam, how she wants to do all these things for him. And, they, and she's holding his hand. And she's just basically trying to give it give it her all and actually just you know say something you know good to him because the only thing Egypt talks about is Sam it's like her whole identity is Sam her house is Sam and it's like girl snap up out of it what do you like what do you like to do and then when she was giving him love and affection and trying to support him he throws her hand away because she's holding his hand and she, and he just throws her hand away like I gotta get out of this mindset I can't hear what you gotta say basically you know saying that whatever she's saying and whatever how she feel is, in, is not important and this woman is pregnant she's carrying your baby she's dealing with all this stuff she's dealing with everything being with you that has stopped her and blocked her you may have helped her a little bit but you're gonna sit there and disrespect her on camera this is why people don't like you so you want to understand why people don't like you because you do things like this you act erratically you know you only care about yourself in a moment when it's about yourself and it's not about just you it's about you your wife and that baby and the rest of your kids that you have but you quickly threw her away and threw her feelings away like she wasn't nobody you know what i mean and this is why people don't like you, you do things Things like this and then you lie then you say you don't know why when it comes to tt's you know husband why he got a problem with you you tried to break up their relationship you pushed egypt to put the information out there that he cheated on tt you was mistreating tt you was talking crap about tt you've been talking about you know um sean when you was tasting your wedding cake but you don't understand why he don't like you because you run your mouth and you forget that you run your mouth and then on top of that whole situation when it comes to sam you know, when this whole case went down, Sam was on Instagram. He was everywhere talking about he want that smoke. He want that heat. He can fight. He's the toughest. He's the baddest. Come on, pull up on me and all this other stuff. He was inviting people on Instagram and talking reckless and talking dangerous and talking like he was about that life. And that energy followed him to that restaurant or to that bar, or to that club. So, therefore, you are a liability now, okay? Pep is always going to take care of her daughter. Pep is always going to spoil her daughter. She spoils Egypt like nobody will believe. Egypt is her baby girl. And she's just hoping the best. She's just hoping um, Egypt can take this lemonade situation and make, you know, this lemon situation to make some lemonade or basically wake up and do something, okay? And I was kind of like surprised that Egypt was filming and Pep was still touring. I was like, why is Egypt not on stage with her mama? Like, she really needs to get that practice. But moving on from that whole situation we shall see what is going to happen but also i don't understand when it comes to brianna latrice we really haven't seen her she really hasn't been a part of the show it's just been like little pieces played of her i hope she got paid because that's kind of shady and you can't have a show without giving brianna and little twist camera time because they're going to bring something to the show that's going to be unique and different and something that's going to make you say aha but we didn't get that situation but we get to keep getting um cree wanting to have an altercation wanting to try to throw reads wants to try to do everything to make brianna latrice you know you know give her attention give her that time and she wants it but cree only wants it in front of people and around security Bree just don't want to fight with her. Bree just don't understand. Bree feels like this this lady is definitely couch chasing. And Bree did call her out of her name because she's over there telling people, Bree is trying to mess with me. She's trying to speak to me and blah, blah, blah. She's trying to have a conversation with you. She's been trying to have a conversation with you. And people don't know what's going on with you, Cree, because you don't tell nobody. You too busy trying to read their life and read what's going on with them and tell them about their life and their situation where you haven't spent time telling the other crew outside of the seminar what's going on and what's your struggles because they probably could relate to you okay the the simmons know everything about your whole situation fertility and everything and it was talking about fertility 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 where were you at you didn't throw no tables and no chairs stop hating and stop being jealous girl and we got corrupt performing for the hip-hop 50th anniversary and a lot of people did get on stage and they performed and they held it down okay